right, coming up next, it's a UFC Heavyweight Showdown. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of many. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Well, when you're fighting this guy, DC, you know as well as anyone, it makes for a suffocating night at the office. Here he is, Khabib Nurmagomedov, putting his status as one of the best fighters on the planet on the line yet again tonight. He does it every time he steps foot in the octagon. And when they say it's suffocating, they talk about the strength of Khabib. Even our teammates say, it does not feel like you're going with a lightweight. You right. feel like you're fighting a light heavyweight. And what do you expect from a guy that spent his childhood wrestling with Bear. <laughs> he is so strong, he's so physical, in the hard work and the intensity of which he trains with only shows when he steps foot in the octagon. One of the most skilled guys the UFC has ever seen. We always talk about the wrestling and the grappling and the sambo, right. but don't sleep on Habib Nurmagomedov striking. And we saw shades of that in the McGregor fight. Javier Mendez says at times he likes to go southpaw in training. He can't hold you down. Ah, he can't hold me right. down, but Just it's okay, sure. it's okay. You can't win them all, Habib. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 246 pounds. Fighting out of New Delhi, India, the Destroyer. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nurmagomedov! All right, make the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? All right, so here we go with round one, and when you have what looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler, it doesn't always play out that way, but given what these fighters said to us on Thursday, the game plans seem pretty clear. They're very clear game plans, but which one of them is able to implement the game plan most effectively? The grappler will try to get forward, get close, try to secure takedowns. He's even willing to pull guard to make sure that he is in the grappling situation. The striker needs to stay at space. The striker needs to maintain distance and fight behind that beautiful jab he possesses. Nice punch by Nurmagomedov. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. 
Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back, just truly mixing up the target. Tight to hold. Oh, the ankle pick to get him down, we'll see if he can capitalize. Got the ankle pick, let's see how he advances from this position. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Nurmagomedov. Yeah, Habib Nurmagomedov is not only a wrestler, he's a full-on mixed martial artist now, and it showed in that exchange. Oh, he hurt it bad with the jab. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. get that out of here. He sees it coming, you're gonna have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Just over three minutes now to go. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, get fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest, a position we call 50-50 because nobody has the advantage. Who's gonna be the one to find that one little area that they can expose to give them the slightest advantage? Just misses with a left hook there. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Got the single collar tie. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Nice shot to the body there. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Mago Menov gets hit with a kick. Battling for hooks. Hardy right, closes the distance, gets the single follow tie. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Sound defensively blocks the shot. It's the elbow there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. say Habib has fallen in love with his striking, but he certainly is boxing more than he did early on in his UFC career. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. And there comes the separation now. Tries the flying knee to no avail. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Big leg kick land. Oh, a nice straight there by Nermago Medoff. Lands flush with that right hand. Look at him whip his hip into that kid. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Powerful leg kick lands. And they separate. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? All right, so again, the fighters clinch here. Kind of had an inkling we'd find ourselves back in this situation. Absolutely, both of these fighters love Fighting chest to chest, the uglier the fight, the better. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint, DC, take us through. High level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always gonna be. You can have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Gets the elbow up into the target. 
Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Khabib. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Really timing his shots nicely, good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Nurmagomedov gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. And they separate. Oh, big head kick. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Oh, single collar tie here. And they separate. Big ball punch man. Now we get back to the ring. hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Oh, that's a good right hand. Blocks that strike. Caught that kick there. Oh, nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Stuff the takedown, no problem. And there comes the separation now. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Three minutes. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Driving the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and then landing those beautiful punches. Really has got his opponent on notice here. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Able to check that kick as well. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. A single collar tie there. Good punch land. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, beautiful job with the ankle pick to get him down. Now we'll see where he chooses to go from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Immediately gets the underhook. Boy, tie oh, that kick is good by Nermago Metal. Landed that left hook. Visibly limping here. Straight punch land. Oh, he tagged him with the punch there, DC. That's an educated left hand. He's got great timing with his left hand. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Single collar tie now. And they separate. Shoot him, bro. Let's see if he can capitalize and lock up a sub. You gotta try to find whether or not you're gonna land. Brown and Pong here, or if you're gonna go to a submission. 15 seconds. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. Oh, wow, oh! Oh, nice! Oh, and there's 
the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, no Telestrator for the champ tonight, but that's okay. He'll still talk you through the replays. Body kicks for days, man. I mean, body kicks for days, but I gotta be honest, John. If we don't incorporate a Telestrator uh -huh. into this game, this may be my only version of EA UFC. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining right, rounds. Yep. We'll see how it goes yep. in this round. We'll see which corner right. sort of maximize those 60 seconds on the stick. This is what happened. Very skilled, very evenly matched fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Beautiful body kick. That one stuck in. Nice strike. Right on the button. Oh, nice. Nice. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. and misses with it there. Blocks the shot. Oh, big punch land. Just out of range with that right hook. Nice head kick. Got the single collar tie. Way to hide that leg kick. Double leg lands. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. He did a great job securing that ankle kick, but he did not react fast enough to secure the top position. And just like that, back to a standing position. We'll see who has the advantage. Left hand punch from the clinch. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed as which he throws is crazy. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Wow. Oh, working hard to get back up again, and he's there. Just misses with the punch by Nermago Meta. Right hand on point. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, man, I'm starting to feel bad for the canvas as he lands another takedown there. He landed another takedown, and he's doing it over and over again. What I am a massive fan of is his cardio, the ability to be able to keep this pace over and over as he hits these takedown attempts. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. He needs to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. He goes flat. Oh, he might have got him with a choke. Sleep with the arm triangle. Again, pick your poison on the ground with this guy. All that pressure on the side of your neck. I don't know the artery, John. I'm pretty sure you might. You get all that pressure on that artery, and it pushes you to sleep. What is it? I think it's the carotid artery, and a lot of fighters say they've got a pretty good feel for it. 
He certainly did that. That's why you got to have friends that are like encyclopedias. John Ennis, my encyclopedia. My guy. Well, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliano has called a stop to this contest at four minutes of round number three. Declaring the winner by submission due to an arm triangle choke, Khabib So what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight, and he did just that. Congratulations. It was a very tough fight, but he knew that if he did everything right, he can get to his position, which is the ground, and he would be able to find a finish by submission tonight. He did 